Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this awesome liquid paint effect within Photoshop. Let's go. All right, so what you wanna do is click create new, 1920 by 1080 canvas size. And for the background, you wanna just kind of have, you can either have a white background, um, or you can just have a, a transparent background. It doesn't really matter. I like to go with just like a standard white background. And over here, you should see the background layer is locked. So all you gotta do is just kind of click this padlock away. If you don't have that, I won't worry about it. Now go to filter, render, clouds, and it should bring up this lovely, <laughs> lovely gray scale cloud effect here. And now the next step is to convert this into a more marbly liquid effect. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can either use a shortcut, which is Control, Shift and X, which should bring up the liquify menu or you can go to filter and just click liquify up here. Now it brings up this menu with a bunch of different options down here. Totally ignore most of these here. The only ones you really wanna look into are the size and density. For the most part, density, you can just kind of keep it as it is, which is at 50. Size, roughly 340, 350. That's a good size, it's perfect size to kind of get that paint liquid effect. And using the forward warp tool, we just want to move the clouds around and as you can see it's starting to almost take the shape of like a marble or like a liquid and all you got to do here is just kind of move it all around it's totally okay if you kind of pull it away from the edges here as you can see it's kind of tearing away that's absolutely fine we'll fix that at the end so i'm just kind of going to speed forward and just show you guys what i've done with mine So right now I'm super happy with the way everything's looking. We do have a lot of um, transparency kind of things <laughs> tearing through. Uh, so we want to kind of just using the same tool, just, just drag it down kind of almost off the screen, so to speak. Drag it all down until you can't see any more around the edges. And I think we're good. I think we're good to go. So what you got to do now is just click OK. Now that we've got this, we now want to add some color to it. So to do that, we've got to head over to the adjustment layers click gradient map and it should automatically give you a standard black to white gradient all you want to do is click that uh, if you don't have all of these gradients that's totally fine these are ones that kind of accumulated over the years so what we're going to do is pick a color so i'm going to go for i'm going to go for blue let's go for quite a light blue and i want to go for purple as well because that color combination is godly right so as you can see, it's starting to take shape now. It just feels like there's not much depth going on. So we now need to add maybe a color in the middle of these points. I'm gonna go for maybe a darker blue or a deeper blue. As you can see, it's coming together quite nicely. Um, we're gonna play around with it a bit more. Maybe add another purple here, maybe a deeper purple. If that works. Oh, that, that kind of looks nice. I guess it's totally down to your personal preference here. And you still just play around with it and you can kind of see it take shape. If you start moving them around, you can bring this one up just to kind of make it feel a bit, bit more. So yeah, we're just going to play around with these a little bit more. And there we go. I'm quite happy with this. Click OK. And there you have a lovely paint effect. You can actually go one step further and add yourself a bit of texture to it by just going to filter, noise, and add noise. And we're going to drag the amount to about six, and then between five and seven. So let's just go for six. Click OK. And you should see this very nice grainy effect going on here. And there you have it. A lovely liquid paint effect. Stay creative, guys. Peace.